With hours to spare before a midnight deadline, the Texas House and Senate both passed the state budget. It now heads to Governor Greg Abbott for his signature. KXAN's Phil Prazen breaks down changes it will bring to the state for the next two years. Lawmakers just passed the only thing the Constitution requires them to, a two-year state budget. With hugs from her Senate colleagues, Senator Jane Nelson molded a $217 billion state budget. The House approved the same budget earlier in the day. In tough economic times, the budget uses almost a billion dollars from the rainy day fund and delays nearly two more billion in road money until the next budget. But because of that, it pays for nearly 600 new caseworkers for the struggling Child Protective Services Agency. It keeps $800 million for new troopers on the border and it keeps the same funding levels for K-12 through public schools. The Democrats tell me they would have liked to see more money in public education. I think we have kicked the can down the road on, on school finance. Uh, the fact that um, the courts barely found our system to be constitutional. But this doesn't mean the legislative session is over. There are still major deals still in the works on school finance, a property tax cap, and what's become known as the bathroom bill. At the Capitol, Phil Prazen, KXAN News. However, tensions will remain high tomorrow. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick is still threatening a special session if the House does not pass the bathroom bill and a property tax cap on cities and counties. Only the governor can call a special session, but Patrick said he will let the Texas Medical Board dissolve if his demands are not met. Lawmakers have some incentive to get everything done during the regular session since special sessions can cost the state more than a million dollars whenever the legislature is in session, lawmakers get $190 a day to cover their living expenses in Austin. When you add up all 181 representatives and senators in Austin, that's nearly $35,000 a day. And since special sessions can last up to 30 days, that can cost taxpayers $1,031,700. But if their business is done before the 30-day cap, the governor can end the special session early. Lawmakers still have lots of work to do. Out of more than 11,000 bills filed this session, only 3,800 have been passed by the House and Senate. And of those, the governor has only signed 227 of them. However, if the governor does not sign a bill after it passes through both chambers, it automatically becomes law after 10 days unless he vetoes it. Another bill being sent to the governor for his signature is aimed at preventing cyberbullying. David's law is named after a San Antonio teenager who took his life last year. His family says he loved playing video games and tracking his favorite athletes. But he was bullied by his peers on social media, through text messages, and on mobile apps. Lawmakers say David's law gives schools, parents, and law enforcement more tools to tackle cyberbullying.